No, I don't. Uh, I don't think that uh, there was any tipping point that uh, enough is enough uh, kind of situation came about. This was a long, drawn out process in myself, um, where I uh, felt that my remaining in the Congress was no more an option for me. My name is Piyush Rai, and you're watching The Quint. Uh, uh, we, are, we are joined by uh, Lalitesh Patitripathi, uh, former Congress leader, uh, MLA from, former MLA from uh, Manihan uh, in uh, UP's Mirzapur district. And uh, he, he has recently made a surprising switch to uh, the Trinamool Congress. And uh, now uh, Trinamool, he'll be steering prospects for uh, the party in, in a state where, uh, where it has basically no footprints. So uh, welcome, welcome Lalitesh to the Quint. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my first question, uh, a direct question and a very obvious question, why, why TNC? Well, I mean, uh, you know, clearly um, the, the ideological fight that uh, my family and myself personally uh, have been attached with since before uh, independence even, has centered around uh, the Congress party and, it, and specifically the um, ideals of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, so when we were making, when I was considering uh, which political party to join, uh, I think that there were obvious choices that I could not be part of. And there were very few choices that I felt that I could uh, continue fighting um, with essentially my ideology, my ideological leanings intact. And obviously with uh, Trinamool Congress and with uh, a leader like Mamta Banerjee, um, I felt that I would not be compromising on my ideals. So are you saying, were you compromising with your ideals in the Congress? No, I wasn't. I was, I was in the Congress because I ideolo uh, the ideology of the Congress was perfectly aligned with, uh, with myself. So there was no ideological difference with the Congress. There were situations that, uh, there were situations in the Congress that I felt that uh, perhaps my being there and fighting for the ideology was not the right place right now. Uh, are you in a position to share a moment, a tipping point where you felt uh, enough is enough? No, I don't. Uh, I don't think that uh, there was any tipping point that uh, enough is enough uh, kind of situation came about. This was a long, drawn out process in myself, um, where I uh, felt that my remaining in the Congress was no more an option for me. It, there was no particular incident and there's no particular uh, moment in the recent past that caused anything uh, for me to suddenly switch. So what was the role of master strategist uh, Prashant Kishore in bringing a deal to the table you could not deny? Um, you see, I had been in touch with uh, Prashant uh, regularly since the 2017 election. But... Uh, in this switch, uh, the role of uh, in in this in this move of mine, uh, Prashant had a slightly smaller role than uh, perhaps people can imagine. Uh, this decision was uh, taken um, more through internalizing the situation in uh, in UP and in the country today. Okay, so now, like, uh, will I be correct in saying that you'll be steering uh, TMC's prospects in Uttar Pradesh? So, what are you look? What is the party looking at? What What has Mamta Banerjee told you about? Uh, you know, the party's prospects, and what is it looking at? Is it 2022, or obviously, uh, what is being speculated that she's looking for a national role as the main opposition in 2024? So, what 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 is what is your uh, way forward from here? So this uh, uh, 
the, this question, the first part of the question, um, you know, when I uh, met Mamta ji the first time and recently when I joined, um, we did not discuss any conditions or any, uh, any positions for myself. Um, I offered myself to be uh, with her unconditionally in this fight in UP and however she feels uh, that she would use me, however she feels that she needs me, um, I'm fully available and uh, committed to that. Um, as far as the question of, um, of uh, 24 is definitely a focus for uh, the TMC and for uh, Mamtaji. We have not uh, gotten into discussions for 22. As you know, the time is very limited. Um, and uh, much of the 22 election process is already underway. So entering at this stage in a big state like UP uh, would be slightly difficult in my opinion, but uh, I think that uh, I leave this decision up to the uh, Honorable Chief Minister of Bengal to decide on how she would like to move forward in UP. You, your father, your great grandfather, they have, they have all been in Congress for a real good time. And you have a loyal support base in Mirzapur and Varanasi area. Do you think you'll be able to kind of, you know, trans transfer that support base to TMC now? Or I have heard of reports where a lot of your loyalists are not happy with your decision of uh, switching to TMC. There, there, there definitely will be some people that do not agree with this decision. Um, perhaps they don't understand uh, the reasons behind it. I have not perhaps been able to explain it to them as well as I should. A lot of people have agreed with me. I mean, in the last uh, the last two days, uh, many of the people from my constituency, many of the people from um, this area around Varanasi have called me up and uh, they are quite excited about this prospect. Um, you know, I think that... Uh, Finding a place in uh, UP is difficult, but I believe that there was some kind of disruption required uh, in the way the politics of Uttar Pradesh has been going on. And I think that uh, that disruption may be, uh, hopefully will come in the form of uh, TMC, and particularly in this area where uh, uh, my great grandfather had his area of influence. I think in that area, there is definitely the need of a new politics. Uh, and I think TMC will bring that. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Lalitesh Paditripathi. Uh, it, it was nice having you on the Quint and thank you so much for sparing your very valuable time. We are truthful, unafraid and independent because of you. Now you can help our reporting from the ground. Go to thequint.com, click become a member tab, choose a plan and pay because the truth is worth it.